Hello, Battletech enthusiasts. Today we're going to discuss brushes and what brushes to get um, and um, how to take care of them. That is the basics. And also your paints, what paints to get or what styles of paints to get. So the paints should only be the colors that you need, but try to stay away from those Citadel pots as much as possible and try to stick with the game color style dropper bottles instead. That's because those dropper bottles tend to not dry out very much, so they'll stay good for many, many more years than the, the pots. And um, also they're easier to just squirt a little bit of color into one of those cups in your palette and then just add water to it. So it's really you want to like stay away from the Citadel um, game uh, games workshop stuff and stay with the game color, game ink, those things. Uh, model color also. It's just basically the model color and the game color. I think they're made in the same factory in China probably or something. Um, there's also some clones that come out. They're probably all made in the same factory. Um, there's also Panzer Aces colors. Those are all the, those are actually the same company and the same bottles, the same licensing, just slightly different shades. Um, so those are all good styles. Uh, now, for your brushes, the the best possible brushes are these um, these special Kolinsky sable hair, which is some sort of a uh, ferret-like animal. Its hair makes great paint brushes. Um, and sizes are basically, there's a strange sizing system based on the number of zeros. So, so if it goes 10 slash zero, that's the same as zero, 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 zero. It's like basically 10 zeros in a row. And a good size for mechs is zero, zero, zero for like really fine detail, like cockpits and zero, zero also for really fine detail. For a little bit coarser, but still detail, you use a zero. Um, and then for really crude, for really crude um, wide painting and washing, you might use like a size two. So anyway, that's the sizing, at least according to those, um, those uh, English style Kolinsky, uh, sable hair brushes. Um, now those, the, the zero zero zeros and the ten zeros can be kind of pricey. They go up to like maybe five, ten dollars a brush or something. Uh, but you can get like a whole set of brushes for a few dollars, especially if you just buy some Chinese clones. Um, but I do uh, recommend that you have at least one ten slash zero brush somewhere in your arsenal of brushes. Another important thing is do not throw away those little semi-see-through plastic tubes that they stick on the tips of your brushes. Those you really, really need. They, you, they stay on the brushes forever. That is, you pull it off, you use it, you wash your brush and you put it back on. Otherwise, your brush is gonna be leaning against things and its bristles are gonna be bent against things and getting contaminated and broken as it sits for a year against the side of your storage box or whatnot. So you really want to keep those and not, not throw those away. Um, another thing for taking for using your brushes, you don't dip your brush all the way into the paint. You try to get the paint only on the first 25% of the hairs of the brush, just the very tip region. Now this doesn't work for a wash, It'll be a wash will just get sucked right in, but a wash you really shouldn't use anything other than the larger brushes like the number one or the number two or something. Um, so the, uh, the fine color paints will kind of stay on the tips. Another thing that you must have is that that cup with, of water, which might be somewhat dirty water sometimes, um, that you, after you are done painting with a brush, you swish it quickly in that cup, but being careful not to hit the walls of the cup and not hitting the floor. Whatever you do, do not like scrape it against the bottom of the cup to try to clean paint off. You don't do that. You instead swish it quickly in the middle of the water, not allowing the brush to hit the sides of the cup at all. Then you 
draw it backwards, uh, like, well, you just draw it regularly, like you're painting against a folded up paper towel to kind of help remove the paint. And once that comes off clean, you know you've swished it in the cup enough. If there's still paint on it, that means you need to swish it in the cup more. And don't let your paint dry on your brushes. If you let the paint dry on your brushes, you've destroyed your brush. You, you won't recover its, its uh, abilities. You'll basically just pretend you threw it away and you have to buy a new one. Um, and there are various things like brush restorers and things like that you can try, but um, I don't know. It's, again, I'm not trying to become an artist, so I'm not really interested in learning those things. Um, but I did notice that um, you do have to, uh, like, whatever you do, don't ever paint anything other than acryl uh, acrylic paints. Like, don't use the tester's paint. Again, if you have mistakenly bought tester's paint, because you happen to have it around or you have had it around for years because of some old hobbying and you didn't know any better or something. Well, pretend that tester's paint does not exist. I don't care if you just bought a really nice fancy set. It's trash. Just eBay it off. If you get five bucks for it, you've recovered five dollars. It is completely worthless garbage and will do almost irreversible damage to your mechs if you paint with it. Only acetone will strip it off and it's kind of nasty stuff to work with. So don't ever allow yourself to use testers paints for any reason or any miniatures work on anything. Okay, anyway, that's your quick lesson on brushes and paints. Thank you.